I'm just using a one and a half inch curling iron uh, made by Conair. It's just a nice cheap little curling iron. So go in and curl your hair and you want really perfect ringlets for this hairstyle. So you can use other curling methods such as pin curls or um, hot rollers or foam rollers, anything really, as long as the curls come out more as ringlets instead of waves or any other type of curl. Now to produce a perfect type of ringlet with a curling iron, what you do is you can either roll it up from the mid shaft of the hair and then curling around it, or you can do as I'm doing and just curl all the way up. Hold it there for as long as it takes the hair to get hot. And then you pump it once to loosen the hairs and you try to just gently pull the curling iron out of the curl and it creates a perfect type of ringlet. It's actually best to uh, pin up some of your hair and curl the rest of the hair underneath so the top hairs don't get in your way. So I'm kind of just doing this as quick as possible but I really should have pinned it up. amount of hair I'm doing is roughly about an inch width of hair. You don't want to do too much or it takes too much heat to curl the hair and make that perfect ringlet and usually it just ends up becoming more of a wave. For this hairstyle you want to make a good center part. Um, try to make it as perfect as possible. And I have my bottom layered curled, so I'm just going to finish curling the rest of the hair. As you can see, I've got all my curls in, and I've started doing one side of the bangs. And what we're going to do is, you just brush up the hair and get all the hairs nice and even. And then give it a light bit of hairspray. And brush it in and just continue to hold it up and brush it in so it starts to become dry and builds a lot of volume at the root area. You can even tease the roots if you like to give it added volume. And just hold it there for a bit until it starts to become semi-dry and then let it drop. And as you can see it's starting to create some volume right there. And then just take a clip and clip in place with the volume sticking out at the root area. And then you're just going to take the hairs here and brush them forward and then manually create a strong wave. It takes a little bit of work and one side's always a little bit easier than the other, but if you keep playing with it, you'll get it. And then just clip that in place as well and give it a little bit of hairspray. And then just brush the hairspray in still molding that wave, making it as strong as possible. I did this in uh, my Notebook Inspired and Marcel Wave tutorial as well. And what I'm doing is I'm using what's called the Marcel Wave, or it's just when you manually make the waves with your fingers and uh, some product, and you just let it dry the way it is. This is a common 30s technique. And what you do is you let your bangs dry at this point, so just go and check your email or whatever you need to do and come back in roughly five minutes. Well now that my bangs are dry, I'm going to go ahead and take out these clips. And as you can see, it already has that shape going on, but it might look a little stiff or even crumply. So just go ahead and 
loosen it up by lightly and carefully brushing out a little bit of the hairspray and just smoothing out the shape. And then once you're ready to pin back the hair, as um, Dorothy has in the movie, just take a good section uh, near the front, all the way down to your ears, and pull it into a tight little ponytail at the very top of your head. And just pin in place with a bobby pin. Probably best to do two bobby pins one crossing over the other. And then just play with the shape until you're happy. You might need more hairspray or any bobby pins hidden underneath the vein area. And then do the same on the other side. have the two little ponytails meet up together. At this point you might want to go back in and fix some of your curls by recurling them. Remember that you really want those perfect ringlets. Well the weather's being a little hard on my hair today, but uh, you do have the general idea. And next what you do is uh, you take a bow. I happen to take this one off of an old headband, but you can just tie a bow with some extra fabric and um, stick a bobby pin through the back. Um, and then just take this bobby pin and put it over uh, the mess that you made with all those bobby pins and the curls that you did at the very back. Turn the bow so it happens to stick up a little bit. I'm taking another bobby pin now and just sticking it through the front as well so it holds up. And there you have it. Especially if you can get your curls a little bit more uh, as ringlets, it will look even more like Dorothy's hairstyle. As I said, the weather's being a little difficult on my hair right now. And um, it's very simple, but um, can be just as formal as it is casual. Um, have fun with it and wear it with all your lovely 40s dresses. Thank you for watching. This is Aya. Bye-bye.